Well, the hot dog from the afterlife wasn't bad, but I'm still waiting for my cheeseburger in paradise. Heaven on earth with an onion slice. Not too particular, not too precise, it's just a cheeseburger in paradise. I like mine with lettuce and tomato, Heinz 57 and french fried potatoes. Big ol' kosher pickle and pickles 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 and pickles. Welcome back to Hylix. Previously, we made another friend. It was Samsonosa, and she is quite mighty. Also, I think the game changes the dossier every time you load the game. She says this world is a lurid feeling, and she, it's being. Also, Wayne is feeling lurid today. Somehow. I did some farming. We don't have as much money, but Wayne has... Some new weapons, a dirk and a fork. Of course, he's dual wielding. I got nothing for Dennis Moan. Really, that fork was really expensive. That's all I got. Required new powers. Also, I left a power behind, and all of those cone cultists are now dead. I murdered them all with Samsonosa's power. So we're meant to go and use the boat. But I want to stop in some other places. Our vegetable situation is looking a little dire, so it's time to pick up some new ones. These will regrow, as I said. And vegetables are really useful for healing, considering we only have a blade of astroplether. And that only heals the person that casts it. And that, yeah, that's a horse. That's what horses sound like. I wonder if the horse is randomized too. Oh, hey, kitten! Hello, kitten! Yeah, that's what cats sound like. So Samsonosa also needs an ablate of Astral Pleather. I'm not going to be OCD and going back to every single TV whenever we get a team member to so they could relearn. In the sequel, you don't need to do that. Once you learn a power and get a teammate, they will also have that power. They kind of fix that. Also, we have cockroach food. Thanks, Talking Cockroach! A Palmetto Shield! Also, this roach. He could also speak. They're advanced in this area. Well, we got a Chitin Jerkin. So we got some new armor at last. Dennis Moon could use the shield, since he's the only one that actually uses a shield in his party. Speaking of which... Parasite Crystal! I figured since we already have two damage dealers in Wayne and Samsonosa, Dennis Moon could get a heck of a lot of will, and he could, like, I don't know, cast healing and status effects on people. Why the heck not, right? And also the Chitin Jerkin. That protects against paralysis. That would actually be pretty good on Samsonosa, considering she is our main damage dealer right now. She gets power from bugs. She doesn't want to squish the cockroaches, though. Also, Squirrel. Squirrel says hello. So back on the beaten path, we need to go back to the recolored world. I left the TV behind when we murdered that guard and his mustelids. We killed him and his pets. Also, there's a whole thing going on to the right. But there are ambulance skulls over there, and I have a bad history with ambulance skulls. They can murder me very easily. We went to the afterlife and came back twice. A third time when we go to the VIP suite. Well, let's get some mystic meat for Samsonosa. Mystic meat is just so helpful with the status effects. And we haven't fought these guys yet, so we might as well. Slughead and Foothead. Let's kill Foothead first. Let's try to use our new abilities. Or maybe old abilities, like Panorama. And Samsonosa could basically kill something in one shot. She does 81 damage. With a Dirk and a Fork, Wayne could do like 54. Ew! This is why we get Mystic Meat for. To cure that kind of stuff. You don't want it to be taking damage every turn. 
He snap at you, good sir. Also, Dennis Mullen has some bad juju, so he could actually poison people as well. He tends to attack last. He's kind of slow. Hey, muscle appliques! We could use those. We got so many now. You actually get them from battles, too, randomly. So, I'll give two to Wayne and one to Dennis Mullen since, uh... Well, he needs a little bit of attack power. Let's murder some of these guys as well. It's really easy with Soft Snowsa in the party. It's really easy with Wayne in the party, too. Poor Dennis Mullen is the odd man out. Or... Odd... Uh, whatever he is. He's definitely odd. Hey, dynamite! Wow, we got a really good random drop. We got some dynamite. I would say that is dynamite. You know, like the, the, what they say in the 70s, and the 60s, that kind of stuff. Well, you know what? We're going to try out that dynamite. I'm going to have Dennis Mull... Well, you know what? Dennis Mull will go last, so... Wayne, throw the dynamite! Show us the power of explosions! The ultimate power of dynamite! I've been waiting to show that off. It's just that I had one dynamite and I needed it for the, uh... Oh, hey, speaking of dynamite! Wow, I could've just farmed these guys for dynamite. Let's head back to the recolored world. We gotta go to the off-limits area, which is now the on-limits area. Since we killed the guy that says it was off limits. I want to get the last party member today, too. That thing got in my way somehow. So, yeah, that TV, I didn't look at it. And it's important to look at it. Because it teaches you explosions. It's the detonation spell. Something tells me is really powerful. Oh, it's very powerful. It's a lot stronger than the Space Shurikens, but whoever uses it attacks last. So it's like the opposite cousin of the Space Shuriken, which only does double damage but gives you priority. This one gives you, like, quintuple damage. Anything else in uh, Recolored World? No. It's just, uh, oh, there were some enemies that I didn't fight before because, um... I wanted to go right past them, since we only had Dennis Mullen and Wayne. And since we have no point in coming back here, since we lowered the bridge, or gate, for the boat, we don't need to come back here ever, unless we're gonna go to, like, some Znosa's house the hard way. There's a warp crystal that'll take us there, but we have to die for it to work. It, these red dudes. Also, there's Guard. I don't like Guard because it uses... Dark Flame. He's got to go first. Oh, these malign holograms know how to mighty. Die, guard. You don't belong in this world. You're too normal. Oh, no. Blindness again. Blindness is hard when you rely on mightiness because of snaps. They start missing. Like that. This is definitely a malign hologram, all right. Technically, we shouldn't be able to physically attack a hologram, but I'm not going to argue with it. The rest of them get to live and tell the tale. Speaking of which, where's my meat? We have lots of meat. We have many meat. 67 meat. Eventually, we'll use the meat grinder, but we need the last party member. I don't want him missing out on the meat. We also haven't been doing a lot of things with the water coolers that restore will, either. I've been just, you know, hoarding paper cups, like some kind of weirdo. We gotta take care of that, too. But we have a boat, so we can do both things today. You see, it all comes together, somehow. Like, a short hike had a boat in it. And now we're gonna have a boat. I don't think there's any ramps in Hylix, though, so... Maybe we won't be able to take it off of things and break the engine or anything. Or no golden feathers, either. I, I doubt birds would want to associate with this kind of game, so we don't got that. This is just 2020 in a nutshell. Just abstract weirdness. Can't go there, even though Boat could easily land right there. But all these places that have ports, we could go to now. 
All this stuff that doesn't have ports is more interesting. Let's go here first. Hey, lone dude. And mightiness. And vegetables. And cow noises. Hello. No, another off-limits thing. Well, he only recommended. I want to touch the lever. Fine, I'll hit the button. Nope, you can't tell me what to do. Whoop. 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 Ooh, muscle appliques. Two of them. Thanks. We get a reprieve while I use them. Now back to button pushing. Whoop. 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 Does it annoy you yet? More buttons! More button! And now he's crazy! Ah, I knew he was holding out on us. You sure about that? Are you sure about that? Because I could always press the button again. Or pull the lever. There's nothing else for us here, actually. I've tried. But at least we have four paper cups. I think there's five water coolers in the game, so I think we have all the paper cups. No, we have one more paper cup. It's, it's somewhere. I think it's in Act 3, though. We're in Act 2 now. This game moves quick. But that was it. That was just a lonely island. Our next goal is to go to that snake-looking island over here. Seems like it's important, but more importantly, this island smack dab in the middle of everything. Also, this thing. It's not a location. You can't enter it. I've tried entering it. It's just kind of there. I wonder what this is all about. Except for insect murder. Thank you. It's the coiled up worm, thin worm, fat worm, mini worm. Thank you! I don't understand what this means. There's just that ominous building filled with worms. It wasn't even a building. Yay, more insects! Die for Samsnosa's mightiness! All of you! They're really playing that bass guitar when they die. There's another water cooler right there. We won't use it yet. I could have sworn I read that somewhere before. Like in Shakespeare. Or, um... Who was the person that did uh, Alice in Wonderland? Oh, anyway. Squirrel food! Yay! We got squirrel food! We're broke again! We got plenty of dynamite, though. We got one dynamite. We're good. Hmm, I've seen these before. Curly worm, thin worm, fat worm, mini worm. Oh, I bet there's treasure in here. No, just insects and dude watching TV. Hey, I broke your couch. You're funky looking. It's Pongorma, the dread knight of Yethorn. He's just been waiting here. How long? Uh, uh, wow, that's abrupt. Uh, okay. We're fighting Pound Gorma, I guess. Some snow is kind of hurting. We should have healed up. Mm, we're gonna detonate. I'm gonna detonate this guard. Some snow so I could kill this one. Pound Gorma could be a piece of work with his guards out. Because they all know Dark Flame, and that's terrible. Also, he has an ancient odor, because he hasn't washed in a while. This is why it's good to have Mystic Meat. Wow, that was terrible, Dennis Mullen. That was awful. Please don't do that again. Try a panorama instead. You're good at laying out panoramas. 
I'll take care of the poison. Oh, no! More darkness! Stop that. No, oh, it's gonna kill somebody, isn't it? Wayne's dead! Dennis Moon is getting there! No, we confused the guard. But Wayne needs help. Luckily, we have some warm burritos on hand. That guard's gotta die. It did not help. No, more odor! He's giving us odors! Oh, this is bad. Do I have to whip out the dynamite? Are we gonna go to the afterlife? No, says Dwayne. I have dynamite for you. We'll get Dennis Mold up soon. We just need to explode these guys. And it stuns Pongorma for a little while, which is good. Well, that got hairy. Even though dying in this game does like absolutely nothing to you. We could always make some warm burritos once we find a microwave. Dark Knight Pongorma. He's living up to his name, I gotta say. Wait, you should try a detonation. He's a little bit better at it. Put up more mystic meat, because he's gonna try and odor us. We have this mini leech that could steal flesh points, but why not a space shuriken for double damage? We could also detonate with some Snosa, too, and do a heck of a lot of damage. He has double attacks, that's rude. He needs to go squish now. Like, immediately. And he's Squish. They call him Squish Gorma now. And he had a muscle applique on him. And he's not dead. Now we have a friend! Also, he controls the ambulance skulls. So we can't die to skulls anymore. That's great. Oh yeah, more insect. Boo, bathtub's broken. No wonder he had ancient odor. Ew. Well, here's Pongorma. He has an ancient odor. He also has partial destruct, which works kind of like Demi. Does a percentage of flesh points instead of, you know, actual damage. He's equipped with some good stuff, though. Last of the Dread Knights. Nobulous feeling! Indulge my sustenance! Oh man, I'd be quaking in my boots if I heard that. He also has a Joyous, which is why he doesn't have any Jollity, because they used it to make his sword. He's really good at texture and cooking. Again, he's bad at philology. Dennis Mull has to do all the work. Finally, we learn Dark Flame. We've seen it used enough. Damages all enemies and is slightly stronger than the normal attack is. Which means Sam's Nosa could really nuke some people now. And Wayne could do some damage too. And Dedesmon, which makes it, well, I mean, Pangorma. Dedesmon's the odd man out, but then again, he's just the healer of the party. He's important. You know what? Let's get some will. Finally, we have a full team. Problem is, it's harder to get to the afterlife because the skulls can't kill us, so we're gonna need to find something that could kill us. Which is progressively getting harder to do. But at least we got Pongorma now. Well, we could get him a Blade of Astro Pleather, or we could get him Detonation, maybe, but Dark Flame's a pretty good ability. We don't nearly need to get him equipment. So, let's just move on to the Snake Island. You can always save whenever we want. This next one's quite a bit of a puzzle. It's, you know, RPGs, they always need that one area. And this happens to be that one area. It's a ladder puzzle! All these ladders down here, next to the teleport crystal, which is like a dark blue, dark green is a location we need to go to. So we got one to the left, we got one to the right. The left one, I think, is over here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. We gotta doodad those things, those weird gyroid-looking things. 
This one's all over the place. Also, this graveyard is filled with ghosts. And meat zombies. Gotta do that, that. I kinda gotta get past the meat zombie. This meat zombie is dangerous! Ah, we're gonna have to fight it. It also comes in a sub shrub and a despair puff. Despair puff's gotta go because I think they could blind people. I'm pretty sure. But at least it could do some more stuff. Like panoramas. Samsnosa is just terrible right now. Absolutely terrible. Pangorma could use Dark Flame. Oh, that was easy to kill. Yeah, power of flames! The power of vegetables! The power of whatever the heck that's supposed to be. He just rots an engrossing panorama. Usually panorama is meant to like describe something, like, like an art form or something like that. But not here. That's a panorama. And it will cause you to pause. Really good for money around here, though. And warm burritos. You could use those. Speaking of vegetables... We'll heal up right now. Use some juice boxes to get our will back. And we're good! But this device, we have to do that everything to activate this. Alright, meat zombie, do, do something besides fight me. Oh no, Mustle is here! And the Cone Cultist! I thought you had killed all you guys! This sounds like a job for Dark Flame. And panoramas. Just pour on the area of effect damage. We got it for a reason. Take that, ferret! Take that, cultist! Calibrate all you want, we have fire! This is when we start getting the really good gestures. We're doing so much damage. But it also costs a lot of will, and it's hard to restore will. We just have to hope we get like a drop of a juice box or something. The ghosts are the most annoying part here, because the ghosts are hard to hit, obviously because they're ghosts. Let's see, we got three off to the right. We should go to the right first. No ghosts, you stay in there. Oh, he was guarding a chest, actually. I'm risking it. Ah, I risked it too hard. Oh, we can't use Dark Flame here. Bubbles might work against the ghost, though. And maybe we could confuse it. That was detonation. That wasn't panorama. At least I'm Snosa and Pangorma. Well, Pangorma now. He could poison people, though. Poison the ghost. And poison everyone with that thing. Whatever the heck that is. That scares me. What the heck was that? Was that Calamari or something? That was strange looking. Never do that again, Pangorma. That, that weirded me out. He's playing with things he's not supposed to. Oh, that's another thing I don't like about Ghost. He can inflict blind, and they evade snaps like crazy. So you kind of have to use like space shurikens or poisoning them seems to work very well. But yeah, we have like a 25% chance to snap. And unnerving glyphs, which takes away your will points. Ghosts are just bad. Also, they seem to be wrapped with sausages. I think that's how they died. Oh, we need to put more poison on him. That is small. Can you do more bubbles? No, you can't bubbles. No one can bubbles. Pangorma, in fact, is the only person that's reliable at hitting things right now. Okay, people are coming out of it. Not an unnerving glyph again! takes away so much will. Why does it take away so much will? Will is hard to come by, you know. Speaking of will, that's exactly what the juice pack is for. When you sight him, restores all ally will. We have more ladders to get to, though. 
but there is a passage up this way. We're taking the scenic route, getting away from the ghosts. I thrust my fist against the posts, and I still insist the ghosts want to kill me. Also, a weird cat man is here. And a microwave. Yeah, let's make some warm burritos. We're gonna need them if anything like Pangorma shows up again. Throwing around our AoE. And the Mars Volta couch is here again. Let the lard smear. Render being! Render being! Render being? Well, their wheel's a jerk, I think. I'm not listening to that wheel. I don't want to render my being. We got a little bit of time left. There's another ladder around here somewhere, but I need to get past the ghost. There it is. TV! And we don't have to come back to this TV. Oh, this is a good one. It's health chance! Now Dedesimon is going to be earning his keep. Health chance is an ability that allows you to heal the whole party. It's just like a hot dog, but you cast it. Which is great. I, I, did, a, I did a panorama, right? There we go. Well, back to dark flaming people. I'm gonna try and save our will, though. Even though we do have a couch pretty close. But Assam's Nosa with a bunch of insects dead using uh, Dark Flame? Yeah, that could probably wipe out most of the enemies in this game. There's even stronger gestures. And we're finding a lot of muscle appliques. It's kind of a random drop thing going on here. I mean, I didn't get dynamites before. Give two to Wayne, one to Dedesmoan, one to Pongorma, since Subs Nosa has pretty much handled every time we find an insect. She's at 92 mightiness. Again, there's no levels in this game. She stays that way. But he's at 77. Wayne's nice. He's nice. But we're done with that one. No. Ghost! Why? Oh, we know the ghost's weakness now. It's poison. Nice. Every time he snaps, it's nice. Because humans like that number for some reason. Oh no, blind again. It fails on Pongorma because he has bleak cellophane. This again? You're really doing this to us again? Stupid ghost, that's why you get shurikens. Everyone will throw shurikens at you. Except for Pongorma, who is going to use a health chat instead. Oh, he died. Okay, good. That would have been a waste of some will. But at least we're getting our juice boxes back. Let's find the ladder and it's over here. And then we could call it a day. This is a heck of a puzzle. And we need to go in this direction. It's important. Where's that ladder at? Yes, I know I'm defiling graves. Stop it, ghost. No one likes you. I never heard of a single person say, hey, I like ghost. Because they don't. They just don't like ghost. Playing with that dealy bop again. At least it's worth the damage poison. It's damage in poison. Somehow you can make ghosts nauseated in this game. I mean, this game is quite silly. I wouldn't be surprised that you could poison a ghost and make it nauseous. You think th this kind of is like the opposite of Mother 3, where the ghosts make you nauseous and the story kind of makes sense, even though it's silly? And here you make the ghost nauseous, and it makes absolutely no sense at all, even when it is silly. I mean, we're snapping at ghosts and collecting dynamite from its corpse. Its ghost corpse. Lodged in the ectoplasm. There's another dealie. I saw another dealie over here, too. Might as well get that one out of the way. Right here. No meat zombie, we don't want any. 
That was close. I think it was about to move at us. Yeah, we can't really use the crystals to go back to afterlife. We can just make noise with it. So we're going to have to find a way to die eventually so we could, um, you know, go to the executive lounge and use the meat grinder for its express purpose. But right now, we're solving this puzzle. So next time on Hylix, it's this puzzle and beyond. Good night, folks.